All right, everybody, this is a uh, another attempt with my uh, uh, Mobile 3 here. I, you know, I'm having issues with the audio um, from the phone, which is weird because um, I did another test before, if you saw my last video, and it, the, the audio sounds a little, uh, little weak on this too. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. I don't know. I tried one time in the um, Photos app, and now I'm trying in the DJI uh, Mimo app. So I'm going to play this back and uh, see how it sounds, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. All right, everybody. So um, I'm going to try the Mimo app again. I actually played it back here. I'm, I'm using the phone through the Mimo app. Uh, as you can see, my Osmo action camera is also... I feel, <laughs> turn off the face. Okay. Um, anyway, as you can see, here we go. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try this and see what happens. Um, it sounds fine, actually. Um, it sounds fine now. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if my uh, 3D printer is... Uh, you can see me looking over here. My 3D printer is... Uh, actually, it picks it up. It's kind of like a sound. And I don't know if that's messing with it or what. So uh, I'm kind of away from there right now. And... Uh, We'll see what happens here. I'll stick this on the end of the video, a little bit of B-roll for you guys. All right, I'm out. All right, everybody. I got uh, some of the stuff here. I got our Motorb. And our controller. Here's the, the one piece. This is the bottom of the mixer. I got parts for that. Uh, uh, screws. Uh, gross. This is exact. <laughs> this is the one part I really don't want to be touching. It's so nasty. Um, I think maybe we'll get some gloves. Where did I see those? Here we go. Because uh, this stuff was really nasty. I wasn't expecting to. <laughs> take this part out but sure show sure enough this piece has got to come out I uh, I guess I could have ordered it but why as long as, as long as I can get it out um, the uh, you can see ooh, pretty see this is where the this is where the uh, that square drive goes and it comes in there's a gear and then the top where is it I just saw it uh, this guy kind of, you know, I think sits up in there. I know it's hard to see. Anyways, so I got to try and get that other piece out and, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, may or may not speed up the video depending on what happens here. Take off my watch. See, it will come out if this piece down here comes out. I mean, this thing's already screwed or whatever, so I'm going to see if we can get a, uh, a pair of pliers or something, and we'll, we'll try and pull this out of here. Uh, don't mind the mess. Uh, my area blew up. I've been working on my 3D printer here, trying to get some stuff right with it. I got a big order for a guy... Uh, uh, in my state here in Illinois and uh, I've been working pretty much non-stop um, with the printer I got an order for 500 of these little frames to be made so I've been kind of trying to do two things at once here let's try to get this crease not to go everywhere gross Hey, well that wasn't so hard. That was pretty easy. Yuck. Let's uh, wipe off our tools. <laughs> wipe off your tool. Um, clean this up. 
and uh, let's see if this will come out now. Oh, yeah. Okay, ooh. That's a nice. Oh, so gross. Well, I guess I'll uh, clean this up and we'll uh, put this into the, uh, the area here. Hopefully this all works out. Let me pause, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back in a minute. All right, I uh, got an old can of breaker parts cleaner. Where the hell did this come from, man? This thing's old, super old. Anyways, it's, it's not squirting very well. But uh, got some brake clean here, and I uh, got a little brush. We're out on my patio. We're gonna try and get all this nasty old grease out of here. Um, I don't want any of this old grease or anything still in here when I put this back together. Stuff's just nasty. I have to show you guys this food safe silicone uh, lubricant that I got. It has no smell. It's not gross. This smells like a wheel bearing. I mean, I guess that's normal. I, I don't know what they, I don't know what they put in the uh, mixers, but uh, I wouldn't have thought it would have been wheel bearing grease, but it's possible. I, I guess. I don't know why you do it, but hey, whatever, right? Wish I had some force behind this. Working on it the German way. We're getting it guten cleaning. <laughs> I know that's not a real German word. I do speak some German. Not a lot. Uh, now that's looking nice. Can I see that? Look at that in the sun. She cleaned right up. I think we'll uh, let's go on these channels a little bit here. I see a little bit of crud in there. Clean that up. We'll uh, rinse it off, and we'll do a final clean with uh, isopropyl alcohol. Hang on. All right, everybody, I got this thing cleaned up. Finish it off with some isopropyl alcohol. Rinsed it off. Don't want any residue on there. This baby is clean. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Oh, so this, I was telling you guys about this grease. Oh, gross. Yeah, not this grease. This grease. Food grade grease, gears and bearings. Safe for use in professional kitchens. Proudly made in the USA by I can't read. Impressa products. Anyways, I don't know if you can see it. There's a. I got this off of eBay. Um, it's four ounces. So let's take a look at this stuff. See, it's like it has absolutely no smell. It's white. I would feel better about this, you know, especially since they say it's food grade. Uh, the other stuff I wouldn't want anywhere near me in my body. Come on, would you guys want? Would you guys want to eat stuff with this sh shit on it? I don't think so. This looks, uh, <laughs> if anything else, more appetizing. Kind of looks like frosting. Yeah, uh, let's try it. Mm, just kidding. Hey, perfect. So, let's look at, uh, man, this is, believe it or not, the, uh, the metal one, this cast aluminum is way lighter. 
So let's see if we can... Uh... I know it's hard to believe that's plastic and it's lighter, but yeah. Oh man, look at this thing. Now, uh, you know, don't forget guys, this is like a month ago or something. I can't remember, it's been forever. Uh, and you can see our broken bushings. Oh, see, remember these things? One of these had popped out, you can see right here, it's, uh, I don't really have anything to point with. But one of these bearings dropped out while I was cleaning it. So in this box, you can see I've got the new, I got a new, uh, a new one with the cupped, you know, the races in these washers. Uh, so we're good. I, I was kind of concerned about that. I was actually going to try to find a bearing or something, you know, but let's see. Let's take a... Uh, inventory oh let's get rid of this thing so nasty yuck this is the old bearing keep that around okay so let's see what we got here everybody oh what the oh son of a gun did you see that everybody i just saw it okay so this is the one that i took out of that transmission what do I see here? <laughs> I guess uh, it was part of the... This is part of the... Um, part of the gears that go with, with this guy here. Um, it gives you both gears. And look what they included. A brand new one. Let's, um, let's look at the numbers on this. The one on the left says... W1104850. This one says 9703907. They look they look identical, everything about them. Obviously this is nicer. Hmm. I'm going to get my calipers. I want to measure that square, you know, the accessory. It looks slightly bigger, but uh, that might be okay. Well, you know, just mean that whatever fit in there would be a little looser, but, you know, I'd rather have it a little looser than a little tighter. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not the answer for everything, I'll, obviously. Uh, let's see. 12.2. 48 on the inside and this one if I can wow 12 so 50 thousands jeez so you can see that with your eye you can just tell by looking at it oh now I'm at a conundrum here do I go with the original part this one or do I go with the new part where it's just slightly bigger you know what I think we're gonna go for the new one I'll save this one obviously just in case um, but, uh, yeah, I would just have to pull this apart again, I guess. Um, let me uh, pause for a second and see if I can find my exploded... <laughs> well, this is exploded, but uh, my, expo my exploded uh, parts diagram of this uh, mixer. And let's see if we can uh, figure out how all this uh, stuff goes back together. Don't forget, it's been over a month. So, all right, I'll be right back, guys. All right, everybody. I uh, <laughs> can't find the paper. So we're going to try our friend. Google and uh, see what it comes up with here. Uh, Profesh six mixer uh, parts diagram. Let's try that. Uh, 
Oh, here's the video that I got all the stuff from, E replacement parts. Uh, oh, I don't think that's it. What's the darn model of this thing again? It's a, oh shoot, I can't remember. Here we go. Uh, yeah, let's look at this one. Come on. Oh, God. Huh. Okay. Huh? See, this is the fun of... Uh, herein lies the issue here. So here's Parts Direct. Oh. Sears parts direct for the win. Let's see. <laughs> Freaking Sears, man. Aren't they dead? I swear they're dead. Uh, here we go. Base and pedestal. Okay, I frustrating. I just want the friggin' picture. Click a parts diagram to narrow your scope. Oh, huh. Yeah. See, the thing is, let's see. Let's see. Um. Open image in a new tab. Let's come over here. There we go. And uh, let's print this, Mama Jamma. Uh, do I want to, let's do ourselves a little favor here, we'll zoom in a little bit, black and white, more options, letter, okay, looks good, we're going to send it to my network printer, I hear it, okay, let's, let's set this aside, and then, uh, well, go grab it from the printer. Oh, guys, don't look. I need to clean this up real bad. Shh, don't tell. My wife's in another state right now. So, <laughs> I have to clean up a little bit before everybody gets home. <laughs> okay. All right. So, according to this... Uh... We got number five, which is here, and we got number four, which is here, and I do have the uh, the gasket somewhere. It was in the small box. I think. Oh, yeah. Come on out of there. We got the gasket. It's a pretty thick gasket. It's nice. It's adhesive on one side. Pretty freaking good. Um. Okay. So the real question is is here oh yeah the part i showed you before yeah this doesn't go up in there i'm an idiot this is the part that goes sideways onto the uh under the under the motor here wherever it goes um so we've got this bottom gear okay let's uh let's look at the different things that we got here so here's number 10 um no, that's not number 10. This is number 8. Okay, I'm going to save all these, these bags. They got numbers on them. So, uh, there we go. I think this is... Let's see here. This is the one I was looking for, I think. Okay, that's number 10. Okay. What else we got here? Oh yeah, we got the two bushings. So there's there's number 16. They both say 16, but they're actually 
slightly different. I'm gonna show you. There's a front, there's a front one and a rear one that go on this shaft here. And uh, yeah, this had some teeth broken off of it. I did I get a new one of those? Oh god. Um. Well, that's not good, everybody. I I thought I uh, I thought I got this. Okay. Well. We might be uh, waiting for more uh, parts from Japan. So, okay, so there's the one. What the? Okay, yeah, so you can see there's, there's two different kinds. See, they look the same, except this one has the uh has a shoulder on it um i think that's the back one here this is the front one i don't think there is but i think it's it's the back one um so you know it kind of i think it goes like this we have to look at the um of course we gotta look at the Bottom here, bottom part of the housing. And uh, let's see what we got here. See, I'm pretty sure. So you gotta put the I think it goes like this race bearing cover and then this one and I believe this one goes here. Nope. God I can't what the hell am I doing, man? Okay. Oh, sorry, guys, it's early. Okay. See, this is the part that worried me before, like, you can see, this is kind of, kind of weird. It shows it going this way, but is it inside here? Or is it outside here? Oh, that feels like the way. This is this is the way. Uh, oh, let's see here. You can tell based on everything. See, that's how I know this is the back one because this one's still in good shape and you can see that this is the same thing. Um, and this is the one up front. You can see that. So... Yeah, and I just got to figure out 
how this all goes back on here. I'm pretty sure it goes like this. And like this. Let's look at the... This might tell us the, the tail of the tape here. We can look on the uh, transmission. Dang it. And he slide off real good. Um, uh-huh. Okay, well, it's like this. Like this. Like this? So we know it goes like that. Well, I'm pretty sure that it goes. See, that's the part that worries me. That seems weird. shaft that yeah so yeah that whole assembly comes up comes through here to this bushing and then comes through all the gears here. Um, so, see, you see how it's got this notch here, and then here. That's where these have to ride. They have to. Yeah, but the question is, how do they get? I'm pretty sure it has to be up and down. The flats have to be up and down.
Oh, look at everybody. The case won't go on because there's a piece of plastic stuck in here. Super. It's probably the pin from the old case, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Well, that's interesting. So, I'm going to have to uh, get that out of there. I, I'm pretty sure by the way that this is lining up that this is the way it's supposed to be although I don't understand this whole why is this I mean I guess there's just some clearance there as long as it doesn't rock back and forth while it's inside of here that's probably all that and it doesn't so it gets located you know in there there's a little extra schlop there um, no push it out so I guess that's okay I guess I guess it's good enough oh and I thought for sure I ordered this uh, this piece here this one because uh, we can't we can't use this one it is all <laughs> it is all tore up um, well I guess it's uh, back to ordering more parts and uh, I'll have to come back when uh, I got all the stuff all right guys I'll be back and who knows how long a while hey everybody uh, am I recording let me see I guess I am. Oh, look at me! Okay. Uh, so, went to Sears Park Direct, and this is a KP2671 uh, mixer. So, I went here to the. You can see here, here's all the. This is where it counts. So here, you can see, look at that, that's messed up. It doesn't even show the, uh, the bushing on the other side. It shows that one. And it's saying part number 17. So uh, let's, uh, gear housing, shaft. Verm gear. Uh, it says WP9709231. It says this purple place is 970 3699. Uh, I mean, it looks like. It's messed up. I'm gonna try typing in this part number two. I mean, not to say that this isn't isn't the one. Um, it's kind of weird that uh, uh, I kind of thought I had this all figured out before. One ten, forty four, five oh seven. Enter. Uh, okay. Well. Um, Here's at ereplacementparts.com. This is where I got, I don't know if I got the parts from here or not, um, but see, they've got a pretty good, um, so you select the one that you want. In this case, I want uh, this, page B. And then you can see it's got all the numbers here. See, they show it. They show it as 28. <laughs> well, they show 28, but there's there's different ones um, so this one is number 17 if we click on the little 17 bubble new style only works with the later models the gear for the older model are marked with uh, what is it let's see let's click on this
This part replaces obsolete part. New style. Only worked with the later models. The gears for the old. Uh, 769, 590, 231, 699, 446, and 770. The last three numbers on here are 507. See? Uh, this part is for mixers with 10 teeth on the gear at the end of the motor. This part will not work on older models with 8 teeth. The worm gear for those models is no longer available. Uh, uh, I feel like maybe this is the place where I actually got the parts from. Appliancepartspros.com And, uh, oh, see? They're also saying 231, but let's look at this. Uh, So let's line it up to look just like that. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So actually, I think what they're talking about is um, eight, um, eight teeth on the, on the eight or ten teeth on the motor. So let's count the. Uh, I think we got to count them on the, the actual motor itself here. Let's see. And they're all spirally. Okay. Let's get this a little light here. Okay, I'm going to start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so the motor has ten. All right. Ah. <sighs> So, all right, everybody, <laughs> let's cover this up. You can see I'm going to pay with PayPal. It's uh, 6303, and uh, I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to say place order. Processing your order. And boom. And we're not going to do any surveys or whatever. Ah. Uh. Anywho, uh, let's, uh, <laughs> anyway, so parts ordered, I'll, uh, come back when, uh, we get our new gear, because, uh, this one's all sorts of ate up over here, you can see the gears are busted, just in this one spot, but they're busted up. Yeah, I've got some surface rusting since I, uh, cleaned this up a while ago, but, uh, anywho, we're gonna wait for the new one, and, uh, I'll bring you back then. Alright, guys. Oh, guys, see, here's my original order from AppliancePartsForAll.com. And here, Worm Gear WP-979-231. That's the gear. I paid $26.59. Well, I can't find it. So now i got to go back. I'm going to look through everything and uh, uh, make sure I don't have it. If I have it, we're going to go forwards. But, uh, I, see, I thought I ordered it. But uh, maybe they didn't send it to me. Maybe they screwed me. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna take a look here and see what's going on. What a bunch of crap. All right, guys. Be back.